Hello viewers, we'll be going over TQQ and SQQ. In this video, we'll be going over my trade idea of the week and the day-by-day -day probability model. So let's start off with the technical analysis on the 1-hour chart for TQQ. We remain in pause MACD and at overbought levels with the RSI. As we extend out to the 4-hour chart, we have approached back to pause MACD and we're nearing overbought levels with the RSI. As we extend out to the daily chart, we still remain in pause MACD, seeing signs of a converge once more, and we're nearing overbought condition with the daily RSI. As for the trade idea of the week, my position size is less than 1% of my portfolio for TQQ. My entry for it is at $181.07, and that is this range here, and that coincide with resistance in the past, and since we're above resistance, that now act as our support. My sell target for it is at $195.81 and my stop loss is at $175.81. So now let's examine SQQ. On Friday, it closed down roughly around 3.7%. And on the one hour chart, we still remain in Megan MACD and at oversold levels with the RSI. For the four hour chart, we dipped right back into negative MACD territory and we're nearing oversold levels with the RSI. As we extend out once more onto the daily chart, we see the same action, negative MACD, and that oversold condition with the RSI. As for the trade idea of the week, my position size is less than 1% of my portfolio. My entry for SQQ is at 3 $13.65. My sell target for it is at $14.62. My stop loss is at $13.38. So whichever entry price were to hit first, that would be my position of the week. How did I develop these trade ideas? It all comes from the day-by-day -day probability model, which is available in the link below. So do check it out. We're examining QQQ for the model. So TQQ is a leveraged version of QQQ and SQQ is an inverse leverage of QQQ. So do keep in mind of that. As we progress to the fifth day or week of trading, we have a 40% chance for QQQ to climb between 0 to 2.4% and a 20% chance to climb between 2.4% to 4.8%. As for downside, it has a 40% chance to fall between 0 to negative 2.4%. So if you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.